100-yard butterfly be introduced. Swimming in lane two, a senior from Cal State East Bay. This is her first finals. She qualifies in 55-3-3. Must be Caitlin Denice. So a stacked field here in the women's 100-yard butterfly finals. Joyce Kwok, the top qualifier in lane four, finished third in this event a year ago. She was the champion last year in the 200 butterfly. This is the 100. And looking to set a national record en route to a title. This is a jam-packed field. Watch the middle lanes, three, four, and five, and a big race for Anna Pfeiffer and Queens. Queens has 128 team points. They sit in third behind Drury and Wayne State. Wayne State has 180 team points. It is Kwok in lane four, halfway home in the 100 butterfly who touches first. 24-6 the first 50. 24-7-6 for DeBoer and 25-1-4 for Pfeiffer in lane five. Kwok appears to be caught in lane five by Deborah. And she comes home the last 25 of the ladies' 100 butterfly. And it does look like Kwok has been caught. It's going to be close. They touch the wall, and it's Pfeiffer in lane three for Queens. A huge 20 points for Queens as Anna Pfeiffer. The time of 53:45, a new NCAA record. She is the champion of the 100-yard butterfly. Pfeiffer first, Demure second, and Clock in third. So Clock, in consecutive seasons, finishes third in the women's 100-yard fly. Then Margot Adams.